You may have heard of my friend Matt. He goes by Real Civil Engineer on YouTube. He's been calling me out specifically in his videos whenever he beats my bridge scores. Can I save like a quid by doing that? Yeah, in your face. <laughs> Well, Matt, I hope you're not too comfortable with those scores, because I'm about to take them back. Anyway, Matt and I have a friendly rivalry for now. But this level is particularly bad because he is ahead of me by $7,000. I simply cannot allow that. And frankly, if he got it for cheaper, I think he took the obvious route and just built under the blimp. I mean, it's right here, so I want to see how easy it is to just kind of build road and then go up and see how little of a gap there is. Yeah, this is doable under the blimp. I bet he did a banana bridge, too. If he did, it looks a little like this, but mine is cheaper. Does it work? Oh, yeah, it just works super cleanly. Okay, hold on. I need to defend my lead a little bit. Even though I'm up by 500, I gotta make sure he never gets it back. So I'll take the rope and just squeak it up. Shorter rope and especially shorter wood means a happier Tyler. Oh no. Well, at least it holds before it drowns. Okay, so I gotta lower the road. Thankfully, lowering the road also shortens the wood, so it is cheaper. Does it still work? Oh, cleanly. This is feeling too easy right now. I'm sorry, I thought this was gonna be a challenge. A few extra tweaks got me down to 8,300. Smash it, Matt, on the leaderboard. Gonna make it tough for him to beat this one. But I wish you luck all the same. And on this one, he beat me by $3. I see you, Matt. Well, how would you like it if I did this? Hmm. Got him. This level, he beat me by about 100. Time to take a real stab at it. So it's time to dig up this idea that I was hoping to pull off, but just couldn't pull off before. And that is the road truss. It's basically a normal arch, but the cop car does have to like get up. Oh gosh, okay. So what breaks? It's the truss on top. The truss on top is a weak bitch. Does it get better if I would help? It's still pretty bad. What about a non-full truss? Does this at least stand? It does. So maybe I could slope the road down and then just have another wood under sport. It's expensive, but it does hold for a little bit. Okay, okay, so I'll slant up the roads, do a wood or road support here, just to see if the idea has merit. I get a collapse. One last road. I need this setup. That one holds. Okay, I can tweak that. And it should just be as easy as having the roads lowered. That's because it is. And then I simply repeat the process. I tweaked it a lot of times. I hope it still works. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No breaks. Puts me solidly ahead of Matt. Let me extend that lead a bit. Behold, the steel bridge. Turns out it just pays to have fewer parts on your bridge. Yes, I will go against my morals and use steel if that means a good leaderboard spot. Although I'd like to use as little of it as possible. I got rid of as much steel as I could. Now it's below 8,000. That's how you redesign a bridge. And 15th place too. Cool. Here I've got to make up a massive gap of over $4,000. I actually don't know if I can do this one. Maybe once again, steel is just the bait. Even with the huge wood trusses, I am spending too much money. What the hell? Like I was thinking I could use a wood muscle in place of steel. I'll tell you what, at least it works, but it doesn't make me feel any better. I've still got 3,000 to go. How about I start by just lowering the sides a wee little bit? Surely that'll work. That's enough for it to break. Oh no. Okay, how about I scrap this idea and start using the muscle that comes with the level? I still think I'll keep the roads at the same place, but it might be smart to like actually build off of the muscle and then do some sort of over under complete with a wall brace. I'm not gonna lie, it looks really trash right now. But you know what, it actually didn't do that bad. It made it to the middle and then it crumbled. I'm hoping I can just find a good bottom support. All right, that works. I think it's actually cheaper than the right side too. It is not by much and it does have a wood muscle in there. I do like wood muscles. I don't like that I still have 1400 to go. Okay, the arch on top, that seems to barely be under any stress. That's way cheaper, also way worse. I can find a middle ground. Please work, please work, please work. Okay, found it, good. A thousand to go seems manageable, but this is by far the hardest for a thousand. I wonder if I can just move this in. That's cheap and could work. Yeah, why wouldn't it work? I 
can't get away with wood supports instead of road on the side, can I? And <laughs> no. At least let them be shorter, please. Oh, okay, good. Is it worth a shot to just make this an under support? This is like the shortest wood rope of all time, but if it works, it works. And if it don't, it don't. Can I compensate with a longer road? Actually, yes. 550 to go. Maybe I could be so fortunate to even remove one wood piece? Nope. Oh, it can work! You just have to widen the muscle. We stand an asymmetrical bridge. Well, maybe what makes me wonder then if I could do the same on the other side. Probably not, but it is a curious idea. Sometimes curious ideas work. Well, I beat Matt and got top 50. I'm gonna need to defend this a little bit. I dropped it below 14,000 and damn, is this gonna be a hard score to beat. Also 14th on the leaderboard. I'm happy. This bridge is not only over Matt's score, but it's also over half budget as well. So it's good to kill two birds with one stone. So I'm gonna keep it real, there is no way this foundation is a good thing. Now, the bridge probably doesn't work without the foundation. It did do surprisingly well. I'm just thinking about a couple things. Like, maybe I could have just some sort of steel side support. Something dumb like this, but this probably won't be enough. And I think I have a better idea for the bridge anyway. And that would be arching the road. It holds much better this way. And not just arching one road, but arching both of them. And of course, I'm still doing the X pattern. Just gotta make sure the roads are close enough together to do that. I was hoping this would have more merit to it. It's 64% stressed. And it's all concentrated in the road, but it looks like actually the wood broke. Maybe we can go with another steel. Feels like that did better. I could try a thing where, like, the road detaches. All right. Perfect steel support down here. Nothing will snap, surely. Actually, okay, made it almost halfway. Right. The other side of the bridge has to be there. Well, does the concept work even if I overspend here? All the stress going into this tiny steel. Maybe it actually helps if it doesn't have the X pattern this time. And then don't get me started on the other edges. This is a lot of steel. I think this is cheaper than my previous cheapest, but that doesn't mean anything. Well, I gotta figure out where I can save steel. I wonder if that steel under support is actually necessary. No, it straight up isn't. Maybe I can get rid of more X's than I thought. Like, maybe just the very side needs to be trussed up? Okay, getting rid of X's of some sort are bad. There's gotta be a limit, though. Maximum amount of X's I can have. That works. Okay, maybe I can take this joint and move it up a little bit? Because I doubt it needs to be anchored so low. I don't see how that could benefit the bridge. Yeah, it just drives the cost up. Leaves me with another 3,000 to go. Maybe I can do something similar on the right side. However, one of the steels actually does support the bridge, so that may change things. How about I try something else instead, where I just tighten the curved Chinese finger trap? I figure if it comes closer, it could save money without causing many issues. Oh, that causes the top to be stressed. Okay, what if I arch the top more then? Yeah, higher arch should be better support. And it is, okay. I could probably smooth out the left side then too. I really think just the key is arching the top road more properly. Don't let the weight come down to the bottom. Does it happen as soon as the truck drops off? When does it break? Break? Oh, it, okay, it just doesn't break now. I mean, with this level of progress, I bet I could start getting rid of steels again. Maybe now this can be wood? I was right. Maybe the horizontal piece can be wood now, because it really felt like that one did not need to be steel. It, it just seems so odd for it to be steel. This one is a bit of a risque shave. It seems like that was a pretty important steel, but the fact that I don't need it is miraculous. How am I doing right now? I am 200 away from Matt. Actually, close to 200. I'm gonna try raising up the roads. I'm kind of curious if I have like this steel almost double support. Do a two for one. Is that better or worse? It's better. Whoa, okay, hold on. I am leapfrogging under half budget, crushing mats, but there is a lot of room to shave. This under support, I feel like if I get rid of it and just replace it with a single steel here, I could have some interesting consequences, like death. Interesting. Could I maybe get away with uh, removing some more horizontal pieces because my arches are better? Oh, I can. Excellent. Keep trying. Maybe remove more of the right side connections? Well, oh, that was very close. I wonder if I could balance it out by just having a single wood piece there. Yeah, actually. 
You see, is it enough to just beat Matt? I must crush him. As in, make sure he can't take it back easily. Now this right here is a good bridge. This should light a fire under Matt's ass. This is another one of those bridges that is just not under half budget and definitely not under Matt's score. Although he's only 500 ahead, once again, beating him will be the easy part. Already, I feel like it needs to make a change. I wonder if I could do a wooden-based banana bridge, or if that just wouldn't be good enough support. I mean, wood's not great at tension. It maybe has... Ugh. Maybe has potential? If the wood is breaking, though, then I doubt it. That was interesting. I mean, I needed to bump around. Now it's the second car being added, the Longhorn, that ruins everything. I had a work in progress design saved for when I was streaming. I don't remember what the principle was behind this, but it looks jank as hell. Does it, like, come close to working or something? It's good until the Longhorn shows up. What if I just bring in a random wood connection here? Does that maybe strengthen up the section? No, it just makes other parts worse. How about I try an X support in what was previous there? Well, it just loves to rip apart. I think the road rips apart because the right side can't flex as much. I'm just thinking like, how can I stretch this out further? Why do you tear the road apart? Oh, a different part broke this time. So the right side just can't flex enough to have this move. <gasps> oh, hold on. That's a little progress. What if I straighten out these roads? It should be just as rigid because the wood hasn't changed. All right, but maybe it's like better with the Vespa. I mean, this tears itself apart. Maybe move the roads down even more. Yes, yeah, consistently making it across. Oh, oh, keep pushing it up. Go, 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 go. Oh, okay. That's a working one with a random break. That's fifth place. All right, well, now I gotta make this unbreaking just so it actually shows up for everybody. So how can I adjust this wood? I suppose it could be a wood rope. It's just as cheap, but probably way weaker. Yeah, it, it changes everything somehow. Oh, it didn't change it that time. It worked. Yes, no breaking. Oh, okay, I was onto something. But knowingly, he may not notice that I actually have a non-breaking version. So maybe I should just try to save $20. Maybe on the left side? Like, how much does that X need to be precisely what it was? Okay, interesting, interesting. I suppose that changes a lot somehow. That time it doesn't. Okay, just good tweaking. Maybe I could actually save more money. I'm in third place. Okay, uh, second place has a break. That's funny. I'm glad I saved this because, I mean, damn, this is a janky bridge. But uh, I'm taking that back. Good luck beating third place, Matt. Speaking of high leaderboard spots, I regret to inform you that this bridge is no longer first. Not only am I 18th place, somehow even Matt beat me too, so I will not allow that. I don't know what the hell Bort Jenkins is doing. This bridge is my baby, I must defend it with my life. I thought I couldn't shave this any further, but there was one area I neglected to tweak, and that would be the first split off of the ropes. I guess on both sides? I think I should be moving it closer to the left, like so. Now there's a couple things. First off, it maybe lets me save a bit of money on the wood support here. Second off, it's just stronger, which means I should be able to make other changes. And especially on the right side, I can't move it in, but if I detach this piece and then shift this over, I could then move it in, which just completely gets rid of a road, or sorry, a wood, and saves a lot of money. Does it work? I'm sure it's gonna have problems, but that's what the tweaking is for. I see that that piece is broken now, so you bow it out a bit more. But notice it's getting a lot further. So I could just bow that out more. And then, well, a road is going bad, huh? Oh, well, part of the issue actually is this section is very flexy. I think I need to actually connect this here. Then maybe I could tweak it in like so. So this is its own domain. That is already a huge shave. And it doesn't quite beat Matt. Oh, wait. Yes, it does. But I was just getting started. Maybe I can save money on this very tiny section. Like, this joint is responsible for so little. Maybe that can just be cheaped out on. Mm, only to an extent. Mm, okay. If I cheap out too much, it flexes and buckles. Gotta be rigid. It's gotta be a rigid boy. Rigid, strong bridge boy. A bridged bridge. Okay. 
Minor tweaks, yes, but I feel like I need to do more than just barely beat him. I'm actually shocked that these wood nodes are lower than I thought. They can surely be higher, right? I don't see how that would hurt things. What? I hit the boat? It must barely clip it. Well, that's no good. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this in a pixel. See if that makes a difference. It's also shorter hydraulic. Yeah, awesome. Few micro tweaks later, I'm under 29.2. This is a tough one. If Matt was doing a totally different design for me, he could probably shave a lot. But from here, I'm not doing much better than eighth. Still, that was fun. I'll have to do this again from time to time, taking back my rightful place on the leaderboard. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed more of this coming soon. Have a wonderful day and peace.